Hello again, everyone. I'm here to show you how to make part two for assignment 4.2 model creation. Um, a couple things to notice and look at. First off, same thing. We need to formulate a plan of attack. I'm once again thinking I'm going to draw the front view first, then extrude the entire front view back. We will then, just like the last model in model one, We'll start a new sketch on the side to draw this, but instead of doing an outward extrusion, we're gonna do what's called a cut. Next thing that I want you to notice is if you look down here, it says all dimensions are in millimeters. That is different than part one where all dimensions are in inches. So if you really wanna be correct for part two, you need to do your min in dimensions in millimeters, and here's how we do that. It's the same file starting process at first, a new file. But now in our templates, instead of an English template, we're going to start a metric template and start a standard millimeter IPT metric part. Once you've done that, though, the screen's the same. So we're going to start a 2D sketch, start in the XY plane, because we're going to start drawing this front view face. So. Same as before, I'm gonna start at the corner and just draw the entire shape line by line. I'm gonna start with this 40 millimeter height. So, start at the origin. So it's grounded at the origin. We want this to be 40 millimeters. Let's we'll see what our next dimension needs to be. In millimeters over. So we're just going to point it in the direction that we want, type in our dimension, and hit enter. And that way it automatically makes the line for us. This is 15 millimeters deep. I'm sorry, not deep, but going down. The next one that we need to look at is right here. All right. And once again, this dimension is missing. But if we see that the entire thing is a width of 60, this is a width of 10, and this is a width of 25, it means that 35 millimeters out of the 60 is already taken. That leaves us with 25 millimeters that must be the dimension for this. So we're going to put it in the direction we want, 25, enter. This is back up to 15. This dimension right here is 25 enter we're going to come down now if you notice autodesk will also automatically snap to important points and that's fine if you want to use that but i sometimes just making enjoy making sure that i've typed in exactly the dimensions i want so now that we've got all those i'm going to go back to the home view Looks like my home view is messed up for this one. That's fine. I'm gonna set right here, right click, and I'm gonna set the current view as home. <clears throat> so now we can see the shape we're gonna extrude. We wanna finish sketch, and let's check our extrusion depth. We're extruding a depth of 30 millimeters right here. So we're gonna click extrude. I'm gonna go back this time. And my depth is going to be, our extrusion distance is going to be 30 millimeters. And I'm going to click OK. So now we're started. Next thing that we need to do is draw this rectangle. And the basic process is going to be the same as I did for part number one. It's a 15 by 10. So we're going to start a new 2D sketch on the side that we want it drawn. We're going to do a rectangle. I'm going to start once again somewhere in the middle, not on the edge, so it doesn't lock to that line. Here I can see 15, then I hit the tab key to go to the next dimension and hit 10. Escape to get out of it. Now we have a rectangle placed in there, and we need to just dimension it appropriately to the side so that it's where it needs to be. So we can see here it's 3 millimeters from the front, and bottom edge is 5 millimeters away. So dimension here to here. We're going to take that and we're going to turn that into three millimeters. Next is I need the, we're still in the dimension, I need the bottom edge bottom edge of the rectangle and bottom edge of the, our shape. 
to be five millimeters and hit enter there and click finish sketch. All right, so we're at the part now where we extrude it. This time though, we've got the extrusion menu pulled up. We're gonna select the shape, but instead of an extrusion or a join, we want to do what's called a cut or remove material. Now it goes all the way through here, okay? And if you notice, well, it doesn't say it here, but this should be through the entire object. So there's two ways to do that. You can either A, tell it that you exactly want it, 60, or B, you can change your extents here, your distance, change it to all. That just says, I want you to cut through everything. And we hit OK. As you can look, we've cut a hole through the whole object back here. And that is how you make part two for assignment 4.2 model creation.